So in this video, we're going to be going over the number one reason why players hit their returns or drives in the net. What is that reason? Why do they hit their balls in the net? It's because they are coming on top of the ball and they're not getting under the ball. In pickleball, when you're hitting a return or a ground stroke drive, there are two things that you need to do. Number one, you need to hit the ball forward, but there's a net. And number two, you need to get under the ball. By getting under the ball, once again, it's going to allow you to never hit a ball in the net again. So in this video, we're going to be going over tips and tricks on how to get under the ball and make sure that you get it over the net. Right, so the number one reason why players hit their ground strokes or drives or returns in the net is because they're coming on top of the ball. If I'm swinging on top of the ball, the only place that I can hit the ball is down on the net. So what we have to do is instead of coming on top of the ball, we have to make sure that we get below the ball. A lot of players think for their drives or returns that all you have to do is take your paddle back and swing forward. Where they're going wrong is they're forgetting about the drop. Instead of paddle back and swing forward, you need to think paddle back, drop, and swing forward. Watch, ready? So I'm going to go paddle back and I'm going to swing forward in the net. Now I'm going to go paddle back, I'm going to drop, and then swing forward. Before I proceed with my swing, all I'm going to do is drop my paddle. By dropping my paddle, I want you to notice the tip of my paddle is pointing downward. The butt cap of the paddle is pointing upward. So now when I swing, I'm going to be able to get under the ball to hit it up rather than coming on top of the ball. So all you have to do to learn how to hit an effective drop in your swing path for your forehand or your backhand is all you're going to do is just let your paddle go. Notice when I release my pressure, grip pressure of the paddle, the paddle is going to go down and I am going to be in the proper drop position. Same thing for the backhand, release the grip pressure, two-handed backhand, release the grip pressure. Another way that you could really visualize it and feel it is pretend the tip of your paddle is super weighted. So you have a super weighted tip of the paddle. So every single time you let it go, it's going to fall down once again. Now, after I drop the paddle, now I'm going to be able to get under the ball and lift it over the net. I need to make sure every single time I take the paddle back, I drop it, and then I get under the ball to lift it below the net. One last way that you can ensure that you're getting under the ball is the tip of your butt cap. Your butt cap right here, I have this Selkirk emblem. I'm going to point the butt cap towards the ball every single time. A lot of players, they come on top of the ball because the butt cap's facing to the side, it's to the side. Nope, you wanna point it under and to the ball. So again, I'm going to take the paddle back, point the butt cap and swing, one more, butt cap and swing, one more, butt cap and swing. That ensures that I am getting below the ball, swinging low to high, instead of coming on top of the ball. So now what we're gonna do, myself and the pickle yogi, we're going to have a ground stroke demonstration and I'm going to show you this tip in action. What you guys will realize is if you don't drop the paddle, if the ball's higher than the net, you're still probably going to be able to get it in because you're coming on top. But any ball that's below the net, you're going to really struggle. So in this video, again, you're gonna be on that side. We're gonna be hitting back and forth. For five years, I love this demonstration because I can't wait to learn how to drop my paddle because I hold it so tight and I go like this and everything's flat. And what did you just say right there? You're holding the paddle tight. Yeah. And if you hold the paddle tight, it's not gonna be right. And then you're gonna miss your drive or return and then your partner and your uh, yourself are going to get into a fight, right? <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do now, watch, take the paddle back real quick. This is what the pickle yogi does sometimes. Not, all, not always, but she's here, and then she just paddle? swings here. All you have to do to drop the paddle is just release. Let go, look, now your butt cap is facing forward. The tip of the paddle is pointed downward. So again, take the paddle back, and now, yeah, good, and now swing. Good. Another way that you can get this tip as well is by saying it out loud. By saying it out loud, it's going to allow your muscle memory to register it way faster. So go with me. Say paddle back. Paddle back. Now you're going to drop. Drop. And now swing. Swing. Good. One more. Paddle back. Drop. Swing. Good. But when you drop, here's a big tip, right? A lot of players, and you just did it right there, if you guys want to rewind and see what she just did. <laughs> She thought the drop was bringing my arm down with the paddle. All a drop is, is releasing my paddle. And it was twisting my wrist. 
not twisting your wrist. You never want to twist your wrist it ever in pickleball. You're going to take the paddle back and then you're going to just drop it. If you twist your opening, wrist, that's going palm, to be kind of difficult. I'm opening my palm too. But you want to think that you're pointing the butt cap. Okay, but it's still opening my palm. Yeah, Besides, opening the palm. That's so unnatural for me because I hit the ball flat every time. So that's another good tip right there that you just made up that I've never thought of is opening your palm. By opening your palm, yeah. <laughs> that's going to help you get below the ball. And as you guys can see, different tips work for different people. So that's why we give you so many you tips. You can give me some drop paddle right now. This is proof that you're a good coach. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. So you're going to take the paddle back and all you're going to do, no, you still moved your arm. So you moved your arm, take yeah. the paddle back and now just release. Let go. That is it. That is it. Right? That's the drop. Where players go wrong and where the pickle yogi goes wrong is she drops her arm. All you want to do again is take the paddle back and you're going to drop. Now in order to do this, she's going to stand right here and you're going to take the paddle back you're going to swing. You don't want to hit the other people over here, right? So we're going to swing like this way. And all you're going to do is you are going to take the paddle back real quick. Now you're going to drop it. So you're going to start here. You're going to drop, let go, drop, and now you're going to swing. Good. Take the paddle back. You're going to drop and swing. Take the paddle back, drop, swing. Nice. Look at that. Now you're able to so get different. under the ball. And this is the best way to learn if you're ever picking it up like the pickle yogi is she's starting down here. When you're learning, you don't want to take the paddle back and be like, okay, I just saw the Universal Rackets video. They told me to drop. It's going to be super difficult. There's too many things going wrong. And it might be like you're in a hurricane right now, like in like where we are right now and it's super windy, it's gonna be difficult. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your life simple. You're gonna get your significant other, your partner, your doubles partner, whoever out here, your grandma, whatever, and you're going to take the paddle back and you're going to start in a drop position. And then you're going to just get the feel of doing that. Now, if we want to take it even more forward and you're mind blown right now because this actually works, I'm so glad that we have to be on YouTube to accomplish something that I've been trying to teach you for like 15 years. Okay, but what we're going to do now is you're going to tell me out loud every single step, okay? So you're going to go paddle back, paddle back, drop, swing. swing. Good. Here we are. Let's go. Paddle back, paddle back, drop, swing. Good. Paddle back, drop, swing. Good. Go one, two, three. Don't put it together yet. Okay. One, two. No, you moved your arm. There we are. Three. Back. You didn't say it. <laughs> Battle back, drop, swing. Good. Battle back, drop, swing. Good. Now, once you get the feel for that, you're going to put it together. And instead of going paddle back, drop, swing, now you're going to connect them. So paddle back, drop, swing. Paddle back, drop, swing. You need to make sure, again, you drop like this. You don't force it to go down. You ready? Let's go. Paddle back, drop, swing. Good, but actually say it while you do it. Paddle back, drop, swing. Good. Paddle back, drop, swing. Good. Paddle back, drop, swing. Good. So right there, you might have not dropped at the proper time. And what you want to do is when you drop, you want to make sure that you drop on the bounce. So as soon as the ball bounces, then you're going to drop the paddle. So now we're going to real fast because we're doing a video right now and we haven't been able to accomplish this with yourself in like 20 years, but we're going to try to for the camera is what we're going to do is you're going to say Some paddle back, footage. bounce, drop swing. You like hijacked my video. Like I was going to make this awesome video. Now it's going into like a whatever, Listen. Yeah. Listen. but it's not going to work because you can't accomplish this. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Paddle, paddle back, back, bounce, drop, swing. No, you said bounce, but your paddle was down. That's wrong. That's going in that. Paddle back, paddle back bounce, bounce drop, drop, swing. And you're going to say bounce when the ball actually bounces. Can you move back a little? Here we go. Paddle back, drop, bounce, swing. What is it? Paddle back, drop, bounce, swing. If you rewind, we said paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. This is what made you fall in love with Here we are. <laughs> Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. <laughs> Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. 
Wow. Pedal back, bounce, drop, swing. One more. Pedal back, bounce, drop, swing. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Your face is red. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to serve the ball to her. And all she's going to do is paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Now, when you're doing this, though, now you need to move to the ball. So it's going to be paddle back, move to the ball, bounce, drop, swing. Are you ready? I don't Let's know. Let's see what happens. Okay. Here we are. Let's say it. Shell, this is our YouTube channel. You better like make it look good. If you miss right now, everyone's not gonna watch us and think that our tips are horrible. Yeah. Did you say drop, bounce, swing? What is it? Bounce, drop, swing. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Wow, look at that. Here we are. Good, nice. Good. Nice. So by calling the bounce, it really helps your timing, right? Here we are. Paddle back. Good. Two more. Go. Good. One more. Nice. Good. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to try to take it a step further. It's extremely windy right now, so this is going to be difficult. But you and I, we're going to try to hit straight ahead or cross court. We'll do cross court and you're going to say every single time, paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. No, big disclaimer is when you try to teach yourself this, this is a lot at once, right? Yeah. So you're going to go in fight or flight and you're going to get tight because you're trying to remember all this. Make sure you're loose when you're going through paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. All right? Yep. Here we are. Nice. Let me hear it. I can't hear you. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Oh, I missed. Here we are. Let's go. Paddle back, bounce, drop, swing. Back, bounce, drop, swing. Bounce, drop, swing. Go! <laughs> Bounce, drop, swing. Okay. Here we are. Last one. Bounce, drop, swing. Bounce, drop, swing. Nice. Look at that. Go! Come on, play it out. Play it for the, for the YouTube championship. All right. Yes, I win. So, how, how was that? different now keep in mind it was extremely windy um, the wind was blowing this way it's blowing right into you so every single ball that you hit was going deeper than it typically would if it wasn't uh, windy any comments I mean have you ever seen me drop my paddle in my life no did I do it today I think so we'll have to watch the YouTube drop bounce swing bounce drop swing bounce Drop swing. Bounce, drop, swing. Bounce, drop, Bounce, swing. Bounce, drop, swing. How does it feel though, saying it out loud? Does it help? Does it? It definitely helps. It's just going to take a lot of practice. <laughs> so at the end of that video, a lady came from the other court and asked us if we teach pickleball lessons. And we do not teach in-person pickleball lessons, but we are the owners of Universal Rackets and we work with 17 different pickleball locations in the New Jersey, PA, and Florida area. And if you're looking for any type of pickleball programming, corporate event, fundraiser, tournament, make sure to click the link in the description to fill out a partnership form and a Universal Rackets representative will get back to you right away. Good work today. Thank you. Let's go. You better bring that in our next match. Like I need those drives. I've been driving. Yes. I've been driving. I used to be a, an, an exclusive dropper. I've been pulling the drives ever since I play women's. You gotta have the drive in women's. And now by utilizing that type of 
drop, you're going to be able to get more spin and get the ball lower as well, in addition to getting the ball above the net. Yeah. Let's go. And this is great for anyone who did not play tennis. Like, I was not good at tennis. I didn't really play it. Um, I played other sports, though, so that makes me good at pickleball. But the ten if you didn't play tennis, that's where you it's not natural to drop your paddle to get top spin. So it's really easy to come across the ball. Yeah, and hit the ball in the net. Yeah. So, yeah, now you guys know how to hit the ball over the net.